The discoveries of Dirk Gerlich and Stephen McKnight have exposed the structures and functions of low-complexity domains, revealing new principles of intracellular transport and cellular organization. For decades, the function of proteins was understood through their three-dimensional folded structures. But 15 to 20 percent of cellular proteins contain segments that lack stable form. These unfolded regions are built from only a few amino acids, rather than the usual 20. Gerlich and McKnight have shown how these low-complexity domains, or LCDs, serve crucial functions in the cell. In 2001, Dirk Gerlich realized that transport rates and molecular transport capacity across nuclear membranes were much faster and larger than anticipated. Gerlich found that proteins in the central channel of nuclear pores, called nucleoporins, form a gel-like selective barrier. Nucleoporins contain stretches of amino acids that are rich in repeats of phenylalanine, F, and glycine, G. Gerlich proposed that interactions between these Fg-repeated regions create a system for selective transport through the nuclear pore. Transporter proteins efficiently carry their cargo macromolecules across the nuclear membrane by dissolving into the pores through the Fg-rich material. These Fg-rich LCDs are thus an intrinsic part of the nuclear transport process. Stephen McKnight's investigations into low-complexity domains began in the 1980s, when he co-discovered activation domains in transcription factors. Like the Fg-rich regions of nucleoporins, these domains had little amino acid variability, yet they were indispensable for activating transcription. Decades later, McKnight observed that an RNA-binding protein called FUSE forms a gel similar to the gel observed by Gerlich. McKnight's team found that LCD domains of other RNA-binding proteins also form gels. Many of the RNA-binding proteins were known to be present in RNA granules. These granules form membraneless organelles in the cell that perform an array of vital functions. McKnight realized that the LCDs are likely the fundamental basis for organization of RNA granules. From structural studies, McKnight concluded that LCDs reversibly assemble and disassemble, held together briefly by kissing cross-beta interactions. Cross-beta interactions are also known to characterize aggregates found in many neurodegenerative diseases. These pathological aggregates, called amyloids, are extremely stable. But inside healthy cells, cross-beta interactions can create less stable, transient structures like RNA granules that assemble and disassemble as needed. Gerlich and McKnight's work has profoundly reshaped our understanding of biology by showing that 15 to 20 percent of proteins with LCDs serve crucial roles inside the cell. Their work illuminated the framework by which LCDs enable cells to create reversible, flexible structures for cellular organization and function beyond membrane-bound organelles.